Sit. Wait. Go away. The FIDO team are experimenting with how well dogs can operate technology. Okay. All right. There you go, good boy. Good job. The thing that we're testing here is, can he understand the correlation between something he's doing here and something that's happening over there? So we kind of started this as a fun little project to see, can a dog drive a robot? All right. Clearly they can. I'm sorry, this is hilarious. As he's just putting his foot on there. He's learned that if he just holds it down, it keeps the robot going. <laughs> he just says it. He's just having a great time. Okay, you ready to do a little training? By training them to be tech savvy, they're hoping to open a route to better communication between dog and owner. Good girl, that's it, yes. Good what dog. if that dog could actually call emergency services, could call 911 with your GPS location to let someone know you're having a seizure and you need medical help? Go get help. Yes, very good. They're pinning their hopes on wearable technologies. These have signaling systems operated by the dogs themselves. So what can dogs naturally do as puppies? They can tug on things, they can touch things with their noses, they can bite things. And so we based our sensors on those abilities. So we've taken natural behaviors and we've turned them into something that's useful to humans. This is a vest uh, that was made specifically for laser because he has giant ears. So it has a sensor on it called a capacitive sensor. And this works just like uh, the cell phone does. Uh, whenever you touch it with something that has water in it, like your finger or a dog's nose, it activates this little sensor here. So this vest is programmed to have a speaker speak a phrase. So this would be if I was unconscious, he would go and find the nearest person and then speak this phrase and then have the person come back to help me. Go, get help. Laser, go get help. There. Get help, buddy. Get help. My your attention. Please follow me. Yes. Okay. Come on, buddy. Good job, bud. Good job. You are the best boy. You are the best boy helping your mama. Ultimately, the vests will allow owners to offer choices or express opinions. So this is called a discrimination vest because it has two sensors on it. This could represent two different sounds, two different phrases that we want the dog to speak, uh, and it allows the dog to select the uh, appropriate phrase for whatever the situation is that the dog is trying to, trying to help in. Get it? Do you want to drink some water or wash your face? Beautiful. Get it? Okay, come hug me. Good job, buddy. None of this would work without the dog's yes. amazing brain. Yeah, let's work on shaping that left one more. It seems to be easier. Well, we have been thrilled with our experiments with uh, wearable technology because they learned it much faster than we expected. Get it? Yes. The longest it took for any of the dogs to learn any of the sensors was 27 minutes. You're not gonna have a cat at airport sniffing out drugs or a horse telling you that you're about to have a seizure, but dogs are able to do this in a way that just vastly supersedes any other animal, and I think that's what makes them special.